Hey guys, so today Apple released yet another beta for iOS 16.4. So I guess we can say Apple is officially on a two weeks release schedule for betas for iOS 16.4. Today releasing beta 2 at about 700 megabytes, give or take, depending on your device. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys everything that's new so far within iOS 16.4. There's actually some fundamental changes to the operating system from here on out that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you will like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, 16.4 Developer Beta 2 is now available for developers, public beta testers. You'll most likely see this beta populate for you in the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, this one comes in at approximately 700 to 800 megabytes, depending on your device and, of course, the software that you're updating from. If we head on over into settings in general about, we see that the latest build number here indicates that we still have several betas before the official release, and I'll talk about official release here in just a few seconds. I always 16.4 developer beta 2 comes in build number 20e 5223e and that's going to be the latest build number for beta 2 ios 16.4 now in terms of release date you guys continue to ask i'm assuming that apple will most likely release this software towards mid to late march that's just my guesstimate but apple could release this software to the general public as soon as they want honestly no one really knows until apple releases the software but based on previous history it looks like apple will most likely be releasing ios 16.4 to the general public mid to late March, maybe even beginning of April. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those fundamental changes that I'm talking about. So if you're a public beta tester, you have nothing to worry about with iOS 16.4. However, if you're a developer and you're no longer registered with Apple's developer program and you continue to install betas on your iPhone with a third-party profile service, like if you downloaded the profile for betas from somewhere else other than Apple, then you may see this prompt right here. So now Apple is requiring you users to be registered with Apple's developer program, completely killing off profiles, which means from here on out, this fundamental change will require your Apple ID to be registered to a developer account that's enrolled in Apple's developer account, or you'll see this prompt right here, preventing you from continuing to receive betas, developer betas, that is. Again, if you're in the public beta testing program, then you have nothing to worry about, but paying developers will have to be registered. You'll no longer be able to use a profile to use betas from here on out. Now, there's also new features that we're anticipating Apple to add to iOS 16.4, which is Apple Pay Later and Apple Savings Account. Now, Apple Pay Later is a service that Apple could update server side, which means no update could be required for this. Apple can just go ahead and update this just like they do with driver's license. They continue to add new states. It doesn't require a software update oftentimes, but Apple could also be adding additional resources to the operating system in order for this Apple Pay Later to work properly. So 16.4 could mark the release of Apple Pay later, and we're looking forward to that alongside the Apple Savings account. Of course, you already know if you watch my initial coverage, Apple has added the new emojis and a ton of additional changes with web push notification support and much more. So as of right now, it looks like Apple is really targeting how they release betas from here on out and shaping the software for the future. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel because I'll be digging around the software. I've only had it for about an hour and a half or so. I'll give you guys a follow-up video in the next 24 to 48 hours sharing any additional new features that I may come across in iOS 16.4 developer beta 2. Have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.